for Star Wars Day or May the 4th be with you, we're going to have a look at a little bit of a fun Star Wars project in Reality Composer. There's four different scenes that we're going to build. So we're going to look at the introduction with the text, the crawling text, a little bit of a fun animation. And there are three different levels of this. So easy, medium and more complex. And the last scene is a bit of fun with the face anchor. So the first one we'll have a go at is building the long time ago in a galaxy far, far away text. I'll start a new document for you so you can see how to build this. Tap on plus in the top right hand corner and choose a vertical or a wall anchor for this one. Tap on the shelf and delete and tap on select to edit and delete. Tap on plus in the top right hand corner to open up the content library. Tap on the cube. Now we're going to modify this a little bit differently. We're not going to use the transform panel. We're not going to use the transform panel to change the width and the height and the depth. What we're going to do is tap on the shape and from the editing banner, choose modify. You'll notice that there are three blue dots on each of the faces. If you tap and hold on one of these dots, it will change around what the shape looks like. You're able to scale in a much different way, making your shape larger than what the scale can achieve in the transform panel. I've made a fairly large box as this will be our background. I'm going to change the material color to black to give it that space look. Now let's add some text. Tap on plus to open the content library. Scroll down and tap on text. Tap on your text, tap on the red arrow, rotate, tap on the blue arrow and rotate around. On the transform panel, scroll down, tap on text and type in your text. When you get to far, tap return to start a new line. Change the text color to be a light blue. I'll change the font to Avenue. On my transform panel, I'll scale down font size a little bit and then use my arrows to move this into place. The animation on this text is a fade. So we'll use some behaviors to get that working. Tap on behaviors next to AR in the top right hand corner. Tap on plus next to behaviors. Choose a custom behavior. For our trigger, choose scene start. For our behavior in our action sequence, choose a show card. Next to affected objects, tap choose and select the text until it is outlined in green. Change your motion type to move from above. On your ease type, choose ease in. On the distance, drag the slider down. Tap play on the card to test this behavior. Tap plus next to action sequence. Add in another behavior in our action sequence. Let's choose the weight card. Change our weight to about three seconds. Add in another behavior and choose hide. Tap choose and make sure our text is selected. Tap on one second duration and change this to two. This means that the hide will take longer and it creates more of a fade effect. Tap down keyboard. Tap plus next to action sequence to see what our cards do. Tap play in the top corner to see how our behaviors work. So that's looking pretty good where we have our text come on. It eases on, it waits in the center and then fades out. The last card we need to add in is to move scene or change our scene. If I tap on choose, I don't have another scene to choose from at this second. So let's go ahead and duplicate this scene and then we can move. Tap on our scene panel next to projects. Tap and hold on the scene and choose duplicate. Go back to the first scene, open the behaviors, scroll across and now on our change scene card, we can choose the next scene. To make sure this works, I'm gonna tap on scene one, tap on the text and tap delete. Going back to my first scene, I'll tap play next to AR and test the behaviors work and move scenes. In this scene, we're gonna create our Star Wars crawl text. We need to download some font, create our Star Wars in pages first, drag and drop this over, 
and then create the crawl font. The setup of this scene can take a little bit of time. The behaviors aren't that difficult or there aren't that many behaviors to put in here. It's just the initial setup that will take you a little bit of time. The first thing we need to do is download and install some Star Wars font. You can go ahead and search for Star Wars font in Google. Try and find the Star Jedi font. Scroll down and tap download this font. To install a font, you will need a program called iFont. If you don't have iFont, look for it in the App Store and download. Tap on Import and tap on your zip file. Tap Import to iFont. Now this font has automatically installed because I already have the profile on this one ticked. I'm gonna show you how to install the Star Jedi regular. So if I tap on the blue button Install, it'll ask me if I want to configure the profile and I'll tap Allow. It's now downloaded the profile and I can open this in settings and install the font. In my settings, I'm gonna tap on profile download and then I'm gonna tap on install. And now I have my font installed. Let's open up pages. Here's one I've already made and I'll show you how to make this. Tap plus in the top right hand corner, tap on shapes and choose text, double tap, Choose cap locks and type in star. Double tap to select with the grab handles. Tap on paintbrush and from our font, select our star Jedi hollow. Change our color. Now the font's a bit small, so let's make it a bit larger. Tap on the double A in the keyboard and choose a larger size. Tap on your text box and select copy and tap paste. Double tap in your box Tap cap locks and write wars. At the moment, one text box is pushing the other out the way. Tap on arrange and text wrap and choose none. And I'll do the same on star. I'll just decrease the font a little bit so that it's more in line. Now let's group this text together. Use two hands for this. Tap and hold with one finger on one text box. Use your other hand and quickly tap the other text and lift off. Lift off with both hands and choose group. Now we can drag and drop this into our Reality Composer. Open up your Reality Composer. Pull up the dock from the bottom and tap and hold and create a slide over with pages. Tap and hold on your text to create a 3D touch and drag over into Reality Composer and let go. Use the arrows to move, resize and scale. You might need to turn this on the side to push back the font. The next part is to create the crawl text. If you have a MacBook and Reality Composer on your MacBook, it is a lot easier to create the crawl text in there. It can still be done on an iPad. It just might take a little bit longer to do this. The first thing you need to do is tap on plus in the top right hand corner and choose some text. Tap on your text and use your arrows to rotate and resize. Open the transform panel and change the text. Change the color and then resize. For this font, I'm going to choose Avenir and I'm gonna choose the style to be heavy. Tap on my text and choose duplicate. Double tap in the text box Tap on caps lock and type in a title. For my crawl text, I created the instructions of what I wanted to see animate in scene one, two, and three. Now my font is not going across in a straight line. So if I look at my transform panel, I can toggle off word wrap and using my arrows to drag this underneath May the 4th. Now it's a little bit big, so I'm gonna scale this down. I'm gonna tap on my text again Tap copy and tap paste. And the first thing I'm gonna do is scale the font size down. I'm gonna flip over to my MacBook quickly and show you how to put in the Star Wars crawl text. It's a good idea to have the text that you want for your Star Wars crawl text already typed out in a pages document. So you can copy and paste this one paragraph at a time into Reality Composer. Select your first paragraph, copy this, Back in Reality Composer, click on the text in the transform panel in text, 
paste in your first paragraph from pages. You'll notice the text comes as a big block and we don't want this. Scroll down on your transform panel and toggle off word wrap or uncheck word wrap. You will then end up with one long line of text, which is still not what you want. You will have to go through your paragraph and figure out where you can hit enter to create your paragraph. Use the arrows to move around your sentence so it lines up with the title and you know where to put your enters to create your paragraph. Continue to do this until you have created your paragraph. When you are happy with your first paragraph, move it into place and make any final adjustments. We now need to copy and paste this paragraph to make paragraph 2. Tap or right click on your text and select copy. Right click again and choose paste. Move paragraph 2 into position. Go back to your pages document, select your paragraph 2, right click and copy or control C. Back in Reality Composer, on your transform panel, highlight paragraph 1 text and delete and paste in paragraph 2. Continue these steps until you have created all of your paragraphs. When we have all of our paragraphs, we need to combine all of these together in one big block of text. Click on each paragraph or tap and hold and select each paragraph until all are selected. Right click on your text and choose group or on your iPad, tap and select group from the banner. Now that we have a big block of our crawl text, use the arrows to move it onto the black block underneath Star Wars. Be careful where you position, you may need to rescale down. Now we need to angle our text, turn our scene around, move our text out with the arrows, tap on the red arrow, tap and hold on the circle and drag this around until the text tilts. You may need to then use your green and blue arrow to move your text so it sits underneath the Star Wars. Tap to open the behavior panel. Now you can see that I've already animated our Star Wars. I'll go through how to do the sequence and then you can try it out for yourself. On our first behavior, I have our Star Wars font, which is the larger Star Wars that we made in pages. Our trigger is on scene start. Our first behavior we have is a show card. I've set the duration to two seconds. On motion type, I have selected scale big. If I tap play on the show card, you'll see what happens here and it seems to scale out right from behind the scene or almost from behind the screen and then shrink down smaller. On your ease type, choose ease in. Tap play on your show card again to test. The next card we've added is wait. The Star Wars will wait for two seconds before another movement happens. The next one we have are two cards that are combined together. I'll tap and hold and split them apart. Our first card is a hide card. The duration is six seconds, so it will appear to fade very slowly. Tap play on the hide card to test this. Our motion type is none. We've also added in a move, rotate and scale two card. Now what we wanna do on this is try and scale down our object. So to do this, even though we've got to zero, what you can do is tap and hold on your green circle and drag inwards to try and make that Star Wars a little bit smaller. When we tap play on the move rotate scale two card, it should shrink. So what will happen is the Star Wars will shrink and fade at the same time. If I tap and hold on my move rotate scale two card and drag and drop it on top of the hide card, this combines both actions together. So it will fade while it moves and scales down. We'll tap play on the action sequence to test all the behavior cards playing from left to right in order. You may need to do a little bit of trial and error with the animation in this area. Now we'll look at the Star Wars crawl font. The Star Wars crawl font has quite a few behavior cards in a row. Rotate your scene on the side. 
Our trigger is on scene start, the same as our Star Wars crawl font. Now we need to make sure that we add up some of this time when we want our Star Wars crawl font to come on. So we need to start with a hide first and I've put zero seconds, otherwise it will dissolve off and we want it to be invisible to start with. So we've got a hide here. Then I've got a wait for three seconds. If I look back on my Star Wars font, I can see that my show is two seconds and my wait is two seconds. So that's about four seconds before it starts to hide and scale down. So we've got about one extra second here before our Star Wars font starts to move away. Therefore, our Star Wars crawl font should appear just in time before the Star Wars text starts to fade off. Our next card along is a show card. We've set our duration time to be only 0.73 seconds. We want this behavior to happen really fast. I've changed the motion type to be move from above to make it look like it's almost flying onto the screen. And I've chosen ease in as our ease type. Let's tap play on the show card to test this. Then we have a wait of 0.2 seconds. If we start to add up the time on the cards, our first wait, our show, and our second wait, we're almost up to four seconds before the text starts to move. I'm gonna delete the move card and show you how to add this in. Tap plus on the action sequence and choose move rotate scale two. On our move rotate scale two card, Let's clear everything, the position and the rotation. What we want to do is get the font to look like it's crawling or moving through space. And to do that, we need to get this font to move through the wall anchor and out the other side. So I'm going to turn my scene around so that I can see my wall anchor. I'm going to tap on the move rotate scale two card. And I'm going to use the green arrow to drag the font through the vertical anchor. If you tap play on the move rotate scale two card, it doesn't really look like it's crawling. So we need to use the blue arrow to move this up as well. Tap and hold and drag the blue arrow upwards. Tap play to test. It's going way too far. So let's scale up our duration to around 15 seconds. Tap play to test. So you can see that's going a lot slower. If I turn it around to the front, it seems to be crawling through the wall. Let's tap play on the action sequence on this behavior and see what happens. So it looks like our font is crawling. Let's tap play in the top corner next to AR to test this whole scene. If it's still going too fast, we can slow this down. It could be quite a bit of trial and error to get this correct. Zoom in a bit and tap play to test. Tap back over on your projects and choose your very first scene. And let's see if everything plays together. The first thing I'll do is zoom in and try and set up both the scenes. And we'll see if one moves and plays from scene one to scene two. I'll zoom in on scene one and check my scene two as well. Go back to scene one and tap play next to AR and let's test this out. So it seems to be moving from one scene to the other pretty well. You might just have to adjust the position of a few things. Or if you like, you can do a screen recording of one scene and then record the other scene separately. In part two of our Star Wars Reality Composer animation, we'll have a look at how we can create this little action sequence.